Hello, my name's David Solomons. And I'm Mike Edwards. And we're looking for a £100,000 investment for a 20% equity share in our company, Snuggle Bundle. Now, all parents know how difficult it is when you've eventually got your baby to sleep in your arms to then lay them down without waking them up. And this can be especially difficult if either parent suffers from a bad back or for mum's recovering after the birth. Stooping to lay your baby down without waking them up can be really awkward. And more often than not, they wake up and you end up having to do it all over again. But with the Snuggle Bundle, we've got the solution. Yes, the Snuggle Bundle is the world's first baby lifting blanket. It's made from a lovely soft cotton and has padding to support and protect the head and neck. Two soft, strong handles and it's all fully safety tested. Now, instead of bending over awkwardly to lay your baby down, Simply take the two handles and lower your baby down gently with a straight back. If your baby stirs, simply rock them back to sleep and this is especially good for soothing colic symptoms. Now when your baby's asleep and you need to move them, it's so easy. You just take the handles and you lift your baby softly and gently up to your arms without having to bend over and without waking them up. And Snuggle Bundle fits safely into push chairs and prams, into supermarket trolley seats, but especially it's designed to go straight in and out of the car seat. You lift your baby in on the Snuggle Bundle as they sleep, and the straps will do up safely and securely in any make of car seat. And with over 2,000 babies born every day in the UK alone, there's great potential for our company to grow rapidly. We would love, to, love you to join us in our Snuggle Bundle family and turn the Snuggle Bundle into a global brand. Thank you. Uh, we welcome your questions. A pitch with the cute factor from Mike Edwards and Dave Solomons from West Sussex. They're looking for £100,000 to carry their baby blanket business to the next level. On offer in return is a 20% stake. Kelly Hoppen looks impressed. Hi, David and Mike. I'm Kelly. Hello, Hello Kelly. Kelly. I think it's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, my daughter's 29, but I do remember that moment, every time you would try and get your child to sleep and then you lean down to put them down, they'd always wake up and you'd be busy sort of shaking them around again to get them to sleep. When, do, when is the baby in it? Do you leave it in all the time just in case they fall asleep? It's a garment, effectively. The baby would... Uh, it's a garment come uh, mat for the baby. So whenever you go out, you can wrap... Or they fall asleep, you can wrap them up or when you want to lift them. So it's like a second skin for the baby. Yeah. A lot of that's my question. Like so they're going to yeah. live in it until they're I mean. small. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. It's, it's they for, need to it's live in it in case they fall asleep. It's for the first six months. So it's particularly for, for straight after the birth when uh, a mum's, you know, a little bit tender and sore. Um, they give birth in a snuggle blanket. Yep. Four years later, so you one. take them out. Yeah, you use it from day one, you put it in the hospital bag and use it straight away. And babies get used to um, the feel and smell of a blanket, so it becomes their blanket. Tell me about the business. So, is it being sold anywhere? Yeah, we're doing incredibly well with it already. We've already sold uh, just over 4,000 units, about 4,200. And it's really what is gathering the cost momentum. Of them? Uh, they retail at 39.99. Uh, so we have got a gross profit margin of 76%. And any any stores that we would know of that you're selling into? Um, we've got a letter of interest from Boots at the moment, um, who really love the product and um, have asked us to keep in touch with them uh, as we grow the brand. Sorry, why would they say keep in touch and not ask you to come in? Uh, because they, the thing is, if you're a small uh, producer like us, uh, they often want to be placed one or two at a time and they work for distributing of lots of different products in one go. Uh, they don't like to deal with individual manufacturers uh, uh, and suppliers. Could we have a look? <coughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yes, sure, we've got Give some packages there. <laughs> Interest from a major retailer the icing on the cake for an already product-smitten Kelly Hoppen. But does Peter Jones share her enthusiasm? Are we being serious? This is a, this is a carry bag for a baby, and you're pitching this as a business that's worth half a million pounds? It, I know. What, what's... what's you put a handle on a blanket. Yeah. It's, it's purely as a lifting... You can do the same with a blanket. Thing. You just wrap your child in a blanket if you want to, and you put there and just lift the baby up. The fact well, yeah, you've put a handle so on safe. It. That's not so yeah. safe. And, and to move them from well, one thing... that's not safe anyway. You carry it... You start getting into some sort of routine and carry it, you, you know, you'll forget that you've got a baby in there. It'll be carrying, like, a, a handbag. I mean, I don't know whether it's because... And I'm not being sexist here, whether it was the fact that it was weird having two blokes come in 
holding babies and pitching this concept. I don't know whether that's what's put me no, off to start with. Sexist. Could we bring in our, could well, we bring in our third, our third <laughs> well, uh, team member? Our third team is your member. team member female? Yes. yes. I, think, I think it's a good time to bring Heidi in if we can. Let's get Heidi in. Thank okay. You. Hello, I'm Heidi. Hello. Hi, Hello. Heidi. Hi. Heidi, um, I just want to see, ask you a few questions because we've got these two very strange men that have walked in um, trying to convince me that a blanket with a handle on it is worth half a million pounds. <laughs> what is your involvement in this? OK, well, well, my background is I'm a qualified nursery nurse and I've worked for... Um, I've managed family centres. I've worked with babies and young children and families for over 20 years. Um, Could the child fall out of this carrier bag? No, it's impossible to. But the reality is that people have lived quite happily for many, many years Absolutely. by snuggling their child into a blanket. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to the understanding of why you think putting some handles on a blanket is worth half a million pounds. Yeah, I, I mean, I completely, I'm completely with you, and people can spend a lot of money on baby products that are, you know, two-minute wonders, that are just very, very gadgety. But because this blanket has got so many benefits, and of course as sort of parenting and parenting styles and things that have come into the whole way we parent children, we now have car seats that weren't around, you know, years Heidi, and years Heidi, ago. you're not addressing Peter's question. He didn't say how many different uses have you got and how brilliant is it. The question was, why is a business that is basically a, in Peter's description, blanket with handles on it, why at this stage of the game is it worth half a million pounds? Okay. Uh, mainly because of the, the response we've had, the, the response from all the experts, the response from the public, uh, and the potential going forward. Heidi's arrival may have brought some credibility to the pitch, but it's not prevented a dressing down from Deborah Meaden. How will the trio handle Duncan Bannatyne's questioning? I think it was Mike that said, there's 2,000 babies born in the UK every day. Mm -hmm. OK, how many of those are your customer base? But, well, we, we do shows all the time. No, so we... how many of those 2,000 are your customer base? Well, we've sold over 4,000 units. How many of those 2,000 so... are your customer base? About 25%. About 25%. So why are the rest of them not your customer base? We don't know. Well, maybe, they haven't maybe heard maybe about it yet. Well, I don't think they are, because I don't think... Uh, there's a high percentage of those 2,000 who can't afford £40 for a blanket. As we, as we make more, as we, as we order and make more, then hopefully we will be able to bring the price down. We're gaining more and more publicity. We've recently on uh, BBC Two. Uh, Radio Two. Radio yeah. Two. Uh, Simon Mayo show. Uh, so two million more people know about us very recently. And what yeah. happened after following that? Well, we it just went crazy, just basically. Went mad, yeah. I mean, the orders just absolutely rolled in and are still coming in. How That's many, fantastic. Though? And how much does crazy mean? Well, our direct sales going from sort of... Um, 50 a month, within two days, we were at 265. So a significant boost in sales from publicity. And now, Peter Jones is ready to have his say. Guys, um, I've sat politely to see whether I feel that I was a bit harsh earlier. And the more I sit here, the more I realise that I, I'm not... I don't think I'm wrong in my assessment of this. I'm not going to invest because I don't think that I will get anything like the return on the money that I need. I don't think your business is worth half a million pounds. And I do see it as a blanket with handles. So I'm sorry, guys, and Heidi, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Oh, that's so, so annoying. So I, I have to agree with Peter Jones again. You know, you might... I mean, there's no doubt you'll sell these on websites and independents and, and make a little bit of money, but it's not a business worth half a million pounds. So I have to agree with Peter and I have to say it. I'm out as well. Disappointment for the entrepreneurs as two dragons take themselves out of the equation. Will Piers Linney follow suit? Mike, David, Heidi, I mean, I like it. I just can't quite see... I'd always want it there the time I haven't probably haven't put the baby in, in it, in my view. I think you will sell some. I think it's, it's a... You know, you've obviously thought about it. It's, it's a great design, and I can see there's absolutely a use for it. I'm just not convinced that if you invested £100,000, you know, you'd, you'd get the money back that you'd, you'd need to. So, you know, good luck with it, but I'm afraid I'm out.
Thank Thanks, you. Please. Thank you. Oh. I completely disagree with Peter and Duncan. Um, and I'm really very unlike me because I'm usually very, very decisive. But I've been sitting here thinking, it feels like there's something about this, but I've actually made my mind up now and it's not going to go the right, right way for you. I have an instinct that this works. And actually, £100,000, you know, for less money, I'd probably have thought, you know what? We'll give it a go. £50,000, we'll give it a go. But you're talking for a sensible amount of money, which I'm sure you need. And I have to say your valuation right now is crazy. I don't know so, you can disagree with me and Pete and then say that it's a money devaluation. No, you we, said... It was a valuation that we... No, i tell you why, Duncan, because you said you thought the product was rubbish. No, and I didn't. Me be no, clear. no, I never. It's let very me good be clear. Quality, you quality. completely so, agreed no, I didn't. with Peter lovely, that the, it was just a blanket with you're, handles you're, on. You're, you're, anyway, I'm not having another conversation with Duncan. Now. I'm having a conversation with the people in front of me. I just think that, unfortunately, I don't know. And you haven't got me there. So I'm afraid I'm out. Thank you. No investment from Deborah Meaden. Leaving Kelly Hoppen, the only dragon still able to get into bed with the entrepreneurs. Snuggle Bundle has certainly brought out her maternal side. Will it unleash the investor in her too? I've sat here really loving this product. I, I really do think you've created something that's, as much as Peter is slagging it off, I do think it's clever. And I was going to make an offer, but I'm not, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when I asked you about boots, I'm dealing with boots on something else at the moment. I hadn't even shown them all this, you know, the product, but just spoke to them. They automatically want you to come in and see it. You've also done all the trade shows. They met us at a trade show, sorry. It's interrupt. been a very, very Right, so they've thing, actually yeah. seen they've it, seen so it. that's even more worrying for me. They really should have got you back in to place an order. And I don't want to slag you off, because I do think it's a brilliant product. So I'm, af I'm afraid I'm out, but I do think it's very good. Thank, Thank you. Kate. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank good you. luck. Good luck. Thanks. The best. It's a blanket no for Snuggle Bundle, proving that having a highly qualified member of your team doesn't always guarantee investment. Shame I didn't see the real potential in it, because, you know, we have got so many satisfied customers. Yeah, if they were to hear our customers, they yeah. would have certainly invested. 